Hey guys, it's Rev991 here, and this video is going to be mainly focused around botting and really how much it's affecting RuneScape at the moment. So, firstly, I'll take you to the places where botters are quite commonly known. These are pretty much the mines and a lot of wood clean spaces. And then I'll be showing basically the price drop and everything with what comes in conjunction with basically how many bots are being used. So I'll just pause the video and I'll take us to our first spot. So here's our first spot, it's the uh, yew trees south of Edgeville. And usually here, just to remind everyone, this is just after an update, usually here there's about 5 or 6 people, up to 10 at times, depending on how uh, popular your world is. And because it's just after a uh, update, the bots are having to update themselves as well, which is a bit, obviously a bit harder for them to do, comparing to Jagex. So you see a couple of days or hours in which uh, there is no bots at all, and I've managed to fit myself in between. So uh, here's the one of the uh, main spots that you find bots. These will probably talk to me, but uh, let's see. YouTube. I know they were just talking earlier. Yep, yeah, so this is quite a heavily bodied spot. There's a lot more I'll be taking to other U uh, tree spots soon. Right, I'm going to take you somewhere else now. So, this is the second spot. These are the Iron Man's. Just south east of the rock, and these are always heavily bought. There's always at least one. You know, stand here, clicking on it. Uh, that's all he's got to do. Uh, basically, use power power miners, which means when they've got a full inventory, drop, 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 and they'll start again. And that's basically how much XP that how they earn so much XP in our and because it's obviously a bot it also knows, knows where the coordinates are because I've actually seen bots working and they have a set of screen size so they know which pixel they're going to click but yeah everyone knows this spot everyone knows how uh, busy it can be at times especially if you try to get your mind up so I'm about to take you to the third spot that I uh, no, that's heavily botted. So this is another spot that is heavily botted. And uh, this is always, always botted. I've always, when I've always been down here, there's always been a lot of players. And the same, another, they're just power lining and you get four or five people doing it. So. You're not even earning much XP per hour because there's so many people clicking things and you're literally fighting out of the, uh, out of the R's. <coughs> so yeah, this is horribly bad and if you think about it, it's not coincidence that all the spots that I'm going to seem to be dead empty at the moment. Yeah, there's just been up there, and I could be I could be on an empty world as well. That's only got maybe a thousand, a thousand five hundred people, and compared to the two thousand cap. But it doesn't matter because whenever you go anywhere that's easy to, or you'd think was easy to bot. Because coding for professional is quite simple. So when you go to places that you think are quite easy to watch, so say Iron, Coal, Myth, Addy, all that stuff, empty at the moment. So it kind of proves that botting it is so widely used now. 
So it's kind of it's unfair on the rest of players. Like I let someone talking to me, he would suffer if it the bots if the bots um, were around at the moment. Anyway, I'll go to the fourth place that I know is quite heavily botted. Wow, um, <laughs> this is a major difference. I didn't actually expect this to be such a huge difference, but I'm at Master Farmer, Draenor Village, and two, two or three people, three people pickpocketing off, off him. This would be so much different if it was just before the update. There'd be 10, 15 people running after him all the time. And that's not an over duration. That is pretty much how it is. There were just so many people who bought very easy skills such as thieving because they have this ability to just leave it. Uh, it's just it's just making the RuneScape community just terrible. So there's another one. Um, I'll just go slightly. Uh, East and show you another spot. Another place is these trees. These trees seem to always be bored. Um, I can't explain. There's also the ones back where I was. Look at this. One, two, three people. The fall got a tree each. This would never happen just before. And um, I'm not there. This would be absolutely packed, there'd be everyone on every tree, there'd be three or four people on trees. And let's see if we'll get answers from... This is because... Seriously... <laughs> this is because... RuneScape's just updated. And if you don't believe me, come check the... come after... Um, after a couple of days, just so... Uh, say like, it's... March the 16th, come back on the 18th and see how many people are here again. But I can't believe how heavy, heavily bottled stuff is. It's just it's disgusting comparing to when I first played. When eight years ago, when Aris Classic was out, it was, it was uncommon for people to do that. Like really rare for you to see a bot, and now it's absolutely getting abused. It's advertised all over RuneScape. But anyway, let's uh, track on and move to, I think, back to Ankarid. So you guys could be probably saying, well, what happens if the baby's sitting and they're actually watching the screens while the bot and while I ask them? Well, the chances of that are pretty low because bots are actually uh, pretty effective. They don't usually not do the job, and if they're kept up to date, they are very human-like, so they know when to log out, and you have break cameras and everything. And this is because they are, and this is what causes them to be so hard to be able to catch, because they are so effective. <coughs> Sorry about that. Right, this is Summer Gardens. Or um, I've got the name of it. Yep. Look at this. Absolutely dead empty. I used to come here, and it used to be packed. I think this is my. I can't find the Summer Garden. Um, I think this this is Summer Gardens. Look, no one here. Absolutely nobody here. And this I know was heavily bottled because you could get, I think it was up to 100k an hour or something experience. And that obviously was great for people who were like low levels because I think it's in the sixes that you can start doing some of squirt juices. And because all you've there's no really like skill in to be able to do this. Is like obviously 
the high feed in the West Chantry and you're going to get caught. It's not like that. It's basically a 100k set if you're able to make it around every single time or pretty much every time. And this was so effective for low level thievers. It's like say mine's 89 if I had 60 summer or whatever it is to get. I think it's 61 or something around there. I'd be really earning 100k an hour. And that it's amazing for them because they don't have to do much. They're earning the most XP an hour they can. And they're leveling so fast. And then there was one you bought which was. Uh, which got you to the hair patch over the, there. Which was earning you 3 to 500k an hour. And you can understand why it's so heavily bought it because. There's just so much demand for it here, and you can get so wealthy off it. And, when you've, and the fact that bots can actually run more than one at a time as well, it's just you're earning so much money from it, and it's it's unbelievable. Like, everywhere is dead, and that is not an over exaggeration, like I've said before. It, it's true, everywhere is absolutely dead. And it's not just because people don't want to play after an update, it's because the majority of players are bots. And I would say probably the majority are, I would say at least 50 to 60% are bots now. The only players that aren't is when you've gone to do quests. So, anyway guys, let's move on to the, uh, I think it'll probably be the last couple of places that I really know of. Here's one. I absolutely forgot about this. Camelot teleports. Always quite heavily bothered by um, auto clickers. And it's not. There's four, four people here. Four people here. Five including me. But there'd be at least 10 to 15 if RuneScape hadn't just updated. So it kind of shows to the players who just don't believe how much botting is affecting how much it really is. Because it's unbelievable, seriously, since I've started playing it, I've just. I've struggled to believe how many bots there really is. I'll move on to the next one anyway. Now. Anybody who's tried to ever, ever get the wood cutting off has come here probably. It is north of Camelot Bank and oh, again there'd be at least five to six people here all cutting the uh, maple trees. And it, there's no one here. It's, oh, it's so unbelievable. Seriously, so, so unbelievable. And yeah, some people who actually bought it might be on their accounts now and probably hand doing it. But the fact that so many people do it and it's hard to control is kind of annoying me because it makes my hard work. I, I, I honestly did 99 fishing all by myself and a lot of my friends and even my brother knows how much time we have to put in. We have to spend up to 10 hours a day just fishing trying to get 99 because it was such an achievement and now because you can sell RuneScape gold it can sell at what a dollar I think it's a dollar same because a lot of it comes from Japan and America you can sell it a dollar uh, a dollar each million GP, so if you had one million GP, you, you're gonna get a dollar for it. And it's, it doesn't sound much, but when they've got like so many hundred people working for it, botting all the time, getting a bit of income in, it's gonna add up as well, and they're gonna get paid as well. So it's absolutely disgusting. Um, let's move on to the next place, anyway. Just a quick detour. Um, Again, flax would be heavily bothered. Oh, again. This, everybody who does wood clean knows yew trees that are south of Camelot. This 
I think six of them or five of them. Great XP when bottles were about now absolutely nothing get hacked to hell. Look, this this four left. Four trees left. This wouldn't be happening if it was a couple of hours earlier before the update came out. And this is not a another exaggeration. It really is not. It, there would be so many people around these bloody trees. And the fact that it's affecting us players who all do this for real. It's unbelievable. News aren't worth much now. And nothing's worth much that is botted. And this is killing RuneScape. So guys, all I'm trying to say really is look about how many bots there is comparing to how many real world players there is. It's killing people who want to, to have a sense of achievement from the game because the only skills that you can't really bot is Slayer and Slayer she still can to a certain degree uh, there's nothing else that I can see summoning maybe but there's probably a runner for summoning all your melee stats you can Magic, Runecraft, Construction, Dungeoneering, Thieving, Crafting, Fletching, Slayer, probably Manning, Smithing, Fishing, Cooking, Fire Making, Wool Cutting, Farming, Farming, probably a bot as well. All them probably have bots. <coughs> And if you think about it, it is really affecting how you play, like, food has dropped down in price so much. Uh, lobsters were 200 GP when I first started actually fishing them, and I earned quite a bit of money for them. And I was only actually quite a noob then, and I still am now, I still don't know much about the game, but uh, I would say I'm a lot more experienced than I was a year ago. But yeah, Monkfish were three, four hundred GP each. They're now what, something like a hundred and twenty-eight or something, or two hundred around that price bracket. And this is what sixteen for March two thousand eleven. Probably if this video gets bigger, at all, that's going to change. That's going to drop even more. And it's kind of the thing. What is Jagex or Jagex doing about it? Yeah, they're really making an effort to get rid of these bots. Because by the looks of it, it really doesn't look like it. There's people wanting to get skills up, like fishing, that aren't really worth it. When I started fishing, uh, oh, just I was heading on towards 99 and I went to Rocktails. They were worth like 2.4k each, I think. Now they're worth 1.8. And now the living minerals have gone up. Now they're 400 GP each. And even living minerals are heavily botted now. So, what is Jagex really doing about it? Are they going to get rid of the bots? I've heard that changing the code might also help because the code that they use, which is JavaScript, is quite easily available to access and get your hands uh, onto and learn. So, what are, are you going to do about it, Jagex? Are you going to change the gaming code or are you just going to leave it? Are you really losing that many plays if you ban every bot available? Or are you going to tighten up a bit more on the button? That when a report goes through, you actually properly check what's going on because I've seen people log on 16 hours a day and yeah, there's players that will do that, I probably I think Zezima used to do a lot of that but if they're doing every single day from time to time and they're not taking regular breaks then shouldn't you actually look into their account there should be a way to see if you're also using a third party um, program as well and I know I'm sounding like I'm whinging but it isn't just me who it's affecting. Yeah, I earn a lot of money from fishing and I was rich at one time. But now, 
I, I can't think of anything to do. Everything that I want to do is quite hard. And I'm not earning a living in RuneScape from much. Well, the only things that are good is for high level players who have done quests. And that's quite upsetting for the low level players because they can't really do much. So, guys, I want to know your like your opinions on this because it's important to me because I really want to see like how much bottoms affected you. I've played seven to eight years, so it kind of affects me a lot because I've seen the price drops and the price changes. But a lot of that can be from new releases and items as well, so I can kind of give benefit to that. But I do want to know your opinions and I do want to know what you've got to say about this because it can't carry on like this because the RuneScape community is going to drop and just end up dying soon. There is a lot of people who want to play this and enjoy it. But anyway, um, thanks for watching guys. Give me your opinion. Comment below. Please like this if you liked it. If you think I ramble too much, dislike it, whatever you want. Favour it and if you want to see more videos like this um, please subscribe to me the subscribe buttons above me or above the menu bar uh, so the screen sorry and then um, thanks for subscribing if you do and keep watching cheers guys see you later